Boom shakalaka, despite the turbulent few weeks we have witnessed in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the most promising charts for Bitcoin and crypto. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Loved. Today's video, we're taking a look at some of the best charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, despite the overall brutal punishing market we have all in before we get into it guys make sure to like subscribe click the notification bell come join us over on twitter at the crypto love push that like button and today extreme fear 24 up just a tick from yesterday the overall market's up one percent bitcoin at 16601 ethereum at 1208 bnb at 271 xrp 38 cents cardano 32 cents dogecoin 8 cents and polygon 86 since and bitcoin now still sitting above the year-long downtrend line right here as a matter of fact you can see a little wedge right here suggesting we are to likely have a big price breakout in the upcoming days now this is all on the cusp of probably one of the biggest events since i don't know mount gox bitconnect something like that we all have witnessed this over the past few weeks and the memes abound i mean if you actually want to know what's really going on, you can just pause the video right here and take a look at this picture right here. It kind of explains the whole scenario for everybody and how big of a situation it was. And I like this one here, the guy we deserved and the guy we got. Oh, goodness. But that being said, pessimism right now, all-time highs. If we take a look, Bitcoin poll results, if we do the math, scenario one could be most likely because... The market likes to upset the most people possible. And taking a look at this poll right here, granted only 500 votes, but 57% of the votes thinks that Bitcoin price is going to go down before we start to see a turnaround. The other scenarios go sideways or go up from where we are, got way less votes, suggesting, I mean, if this was right, this would be the first time in history that the market's been right about Bitcoin. So things could be turning around but you know who's not very happy right now the miners they've only had an episode like this only about once maybe twice if you consider the very very huge collapse in 2019 that would be the second time when they've had this much pain in terms of selling when the price of bitcoin when it was more expensive to mine bitcoin than the price that i actually sold for happened once back here in 2019 after that 50 percent price crash happened during the covid bottom and right now, oof, way out of the mining Bitcoin production cost band, this purple band right here, way below it, meaning that for all miners right now, it hurts. Now, that being said, we have a bunch of people very, very pessimistic about the market. We have the miners who are hurting significantly. And we have evidence, Ralph Paul saying that, guess what? The recession's already likely priced in. Everybody's calling for the recession, for things getting worse. But you know what? They've been calling for that for months now. Months. And do you think anybody hasn't heard it yet? you think it's news to anybody? I don't think so. Rao Paul here saying the NDX is pricing ISM at 38, a quite deep recession. I know everybody thinks the equities need to have another big leg down to lower earnings, but it's probably already in the price so that being said likely already priced in markets equities bitcoin cryptocurrencies as well which brings us to some pretty interesting charts for bitcoin as bad as things are right now as terrible as they've been the past week well look what happened the last time we had a scenario this bad a little deja vu experience bitcoin right now repeating 2014 to 2016 where we had a new all-time high same we had a new paradigm. Bitcoin's going back up. Then the China ban in 2015, interest rates now, the Bitfinex crash late 2015, the FTX crash, and then look what happened after that. Massive rally. Bitcoin price went from about $100 to $20,000 over the next year and a half. Will it happen? I don't know. But it's certainly possible. As a matter of fact, we have this indicator right here suggesting a strong divergence the obv has set an all-time high now obv when it goes up it suggests that price oftentimes follows it's a leading indicator for price we see here when there was a strong divergence between obv 
and price. Look what would happen with price afterwards. Price shot up. Right now we have a huge divergence with OBV and price suggesting potentially another large upward move with Bitcoin. The last time it reached a new all-time high with divergence this strong, price made one nine months later. You can see new, new all-time high nine months later. Potentially, we might have the same thing. Could you imagine that by August of 2023, new all-time high? Because guess what's coming up in early 2024? Another halving, which leads us to this chart right here. Historically, Bitcoin halving prices. In past cycles, Bitcoin price was approximately negative 55% from previous all-time highs when the halving occurred. You can see here was 57%, here was 54%, here was 53%, here potentially right around 55%. If that were to remain true, that would have a $32,000 Bitcoin. Bitcoin price would double within about a year and four months. So that being said, could be pretty interesting ride coming up. It might not be because, you know, we might get sent another one of these guys. But buckle up. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. Yeah,